Hi folks, this is Don Meisner with the North Country Fishing Report. You know, I told you that this Toyota series, this big bass tournament, sort of reigns supreme right now. In the summertime, you notice all the bass boats in our area, and I don't care, it doesn't matter which town you're in, you can see the influx of these people from other parts of the country that are coming here. And so when these anglers came up on stage to show their fish and to get their prizes, they were given a chance to talk. And one of the things that Mark McQua, who was a tournament director for this, this event, would ask each and every one of them is how did they catch their fish? And of course, I want you to know that you can take this kind of with a grain of salt, but a lot of them were probably passing on what, what happened. Remember, Anglers are very secretive. They want to continue to win money and win prizes, and they don't want to share how they do it with anyone. But they were asked, since they're leaving right now until another year, how they caught their fish. And most of them, most of them would say on a drop shot bait. And you guys have all heard me say drop shot so many times, but essentially what it is is it's a very small bait that is drifted naturally in the deeper currents of the St. Lawrence River. And it, the, the baits really are supposed to look like gobies or something that they would want to eat. And so drop shot baits were pretty much the number one thing that people talked about. Other things that they caught their fish on, they said, were using the same drop shot technique but using a paddle tail. Now, that's not the typical drop shot bait that we that we think about. The paddle tail has a paddle at the back of it, but still the current allows that to look apparently the way they think the fish want to look to see their bait. The other thing that a lot of them were doing was using a Carolina rig. And this is something that you haven't heard me talk about in a long time. Before drop shotting became popular, Carolina rigging was a popular way to catch fish. And this, it's, it's all similar in many ways, but with a Carolina rig, you have a fairly heavy sinker halfway up your line that's attached to, to another bit of leader. And then at the end of a long leader past that is the bait that you're using. So instead of being drifted naturally through the current, you're sort of dragging your lure or, or your bait along the bottom. It's a, it's a different technique. It's also very effective and because that's where most of the gobies are and that's what these fish, fish are eating. So a Carolina rig was very popular. Tube jigs. Tube jigs is an old-fashioned way that was the most popular in the St. Lawrence River for years before these tournament trails started making themselves famous. And a tube is just a, a, a small plastic piece that goes on a special jig head, and then it has lots of tentacles coming out of it. And again, like I talked about the Carolina rig, you would use a tube and you just get sort of in the deep sections, but this was before we actually could tell what sections of fish were in as much and just drift down almost like the shipping lane of the St. Lawrence River. So tube jigs were popular and jerk baits were popular too. So this was pretty much what most of the fishermen said allowed them to win their prizes. These were the baits that they were using. Now, what color? The color was green pumpkin so many times. And that seems to be the color that uh, fishermen prefer in the waters of our area. Apparently looks like a goby. And with the clear water, it seems to be more effective. But I, I listen very closely to each of these anglers because we can always learn from other people. And for those that were really giving us the truth then uh, we can take something from that and hopefully use some of the same techniques ourselves. Until next time, folks, this is Don Meisner with the North Country Fishing Report.